Hi guys, today we'll be discussing chain rule. What I'll do in this video is I'll briefly explain what chain rule is, how we use it, discuss some strategies when tackling chain rule problems, and we'll be doing some practice problems together. So chain rule is essentially the method for differentiating composite functions. Composite functions such as square root of 2x minus 1 or x plus 2 raised to the third. So a composite function is essentially a composition of two functions where, for example, this one is a composition of a quantity, square root of a quantity, and the function 2x minus 1. What chain rule states is that dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So the strategy here is looking at a composite function, breaking, down in, breaking it down into smaller parts or smaller functions, and then finding the derivatives of those functions these two, and then just finding the product of that. This will be clearer with an example. So let's start with this problem. Find the derivative of y is equal to 2x plus 3 to the 13th. You can pause the video and try it yourself for a bit. So the strategy here is to break it, into, break it down into two smaller functions. We have 2x plus 3, which is the inner function. So we'll let u be equal to 2x plus 3. And we have the bigger function, or the outer function, which is y is equal to u to the 13th. What you want to do from here is that you want to find derivatives of both the inner and the outer function. So you get du by dx is equal to 2, while du dy by du is equal to 13u to the 12th. And since chain rule is simply multiplying these two derivatives, you can simply get it by doing 2 times 13u to the 12. And you want to do it in terms of x because that's what it's asking for. So you simply substitute in u for 2x plus 3. So it's equal to 2 times 13 times 2x plus 3 to the 12. And simplifying this, you get 26 times 2x plus 3 to the 12. For the second example, we have to find the derivative of y is equal to 1 over 2x minus 2x to the third raised to the ninth power. Pause the video and try it yourself really quickly. So we'll apply the same strategy as before. We'll let the inner function, or u, be equal to 1 over 2x minus 2x to the third, and we'll let the outer function, or y, be u to the ninth. So we'll have to find the derivatives of both smaller functions. So the derivative of u, which is du with respect to x, is equal to negative 1 over 2x squared minus 6x squared, while the derivative of y, which is dy by du, is equal to 9u to the 8th. And by chain rule, all we have to do now is multiply these two. So we have negative 1 over 2x squared minus 6x squared times 9u to the 8th. And we, all we have to do now is substitute in u into here to get the final answer. Negative 1 over 2x squared minus 6x squared times 9 times 1 over 2x minus 2x to the 3rd raised to the 8th power. And with a little tidying up, you'll get the final answer. Now we'll tackle an exam style question. The question states, find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y is equal to the square root of 1 plus 6 over x at x equals 2. Pause the video and try it yourself first. So the whole point of the question is to get the derivative of this function, because the derivative of that function is a function that will give you the gradient of the original one, this one, at any point of the curve. And we're trying to find the gradient when the point is at x is equal to 2. That's how we get the tangent and the normal of it. So let's apply the first strategy in finding the derivatives of this whole function. It's a composite function, so we'll do chain rule. One of the functions that makes it up is u is equal to 1 plus 6 over x. And the outer function, or the other function, is u to the 1 half. Finding the derivatives of both, we get du by dx is equal to 
negative 6 over x squared, and while dy by du is equal to 1 half u to the negative 1 half which is just 1 over 2 square root of u. By chain rule, dy by dx, or the derivative of this function, is simply the product of these two things. So it's 1 over 2 square root of u times negative 6 over x squared. And substituting in u to this equation, we have 1 over 2 times square root of 1 plus 6 over x times negative 6 over x squared. Simplifying this, we get 6 over 2x squared square root of 1 plus 6 over x negative. Pretty ugly function. So what we'll do from here is that we'll use this to get the gradient or to get the gradient of each, the tangent and the normal. Now we'll want to use the gradient function which we got which is the derivative of the function we found earlier, to get the slope or the gradient of the tangent and that of the normal. Let's start with the tangent. All we have to do to find the, air, the line of the tangent at x equals 2 is that we have to plug in 2 to this function over here. So it becomes negative 6 over 2 times 2 to the second times square root of 1 plus 6 over 2. And that is simply negative 3 over 8. So the slope of the tangent function is equal to negative 3 over 8. So we know y is equal to negative 3 over 8 x plus b. So what we want to do from here is that we want to find the constant. We know that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2. You can check it with the original function. So if we just plug in both, so 2 is equal to negative 3 over 8 times 2 plus b, We'll find out that b is simply equal to 11 over 4. So the tangent line will be equal to y is equal to negative 3 over 8x plus 11 over 4. How about the normal? The normal is simply the line perpendicular to the tangent. So what you simply have to do is use the slope of the tangent and find the negative reciprocal. So you turn it around and change the sign. So the slope will now be 8 over 3. And you do the same thing. y is equal to 8 over 3 x plus b. And you know that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2. So if you plug in 2, 2 is equal to 8 over 3 times 2 plus b. b will then be equal to 6 over 3 minus 16 over 3 which is simply equal to negative 10 over 3. So the line of the normal is y is equal to 8 over 3x minus 10 